supply. The high gas prices especially hurt those who drive around as part of their jobs. 13 News reporter Shelby Slaughter is live on the east side with more on that. Shelby. Valerie, this is the Interfaith Community Services Mobile Food Pantry. You can take a look here. I'm told that this truck cost $150 to fill. It's a hefty cost for one local nonprofit multiple times a month, something that's impacting how they can drive and how many people they can help. Brandon Miller has been operating the Interfaith Community Service food truck for a year and a half, delivering food to people who need it most. But thanks to soaring gas prices, it's become more expensive to keep this truck operating. Well, have you noticed the change in your gas bill already? With Off top, just the distance. I've already filled up twice this month. And this is normally I fill up twice a month. I'm already at my two times a month. And it's just halfway throughout the month because I have to maintain the uh, climate. Because so much of the food inside the truck has to be kept cold, the truck must stay on. Tom McKinney, the CEO of Interfaith Community Services, says because of this, they've had to make some hard decisions, especially when it comes to expanding routes to try and reach more people. We've tried to expand routes because obviously there's a lot of food dep deprivation around Tucson. This truck is the saving grace for a lot of people that we can bring the food close to them. So they don't have to use gas to get as far as our food bank up on Ina. Um, but, you know, we have to make choices of, you know, how, you know, how many places can we go? How much food can we purchase? McKinney says ICS depends on both food and cash donations to help keep the truck running. He says while they're trying to keep up with costs, he knows families they serve are trying to do the same. It's no different than any family right now that's that's suffering from this, right? You have to choose, can I buy food? Can I buy gas? Can I pay my rent? You know, and we're seeing all those people come together. And it's, a you know, even though gas might go back down, um, something goes back up. So now this mobile food pantry runs four times per week and those who need it can come and visit it two times per month. You can find their schedule up soon on our website. For now reporting in Tucson, I'm Shelby Slaughter, 13 News.